Let's all go to Cargonia, land of stolen things. Obey the quartermaster, unless he is a link. Cargo takes out the station, find more stuff to take. But the boss is never satisfied until the station breaks. Here we are, folks. I said I'd do it. So, here we are. Door Fortress. Oh, God. Uh, beyond quality. Why is it so quiet? Well, because I'm going to be running sound since, baby. Let's uh, move this over. Over here. Go into Utilities. And we're going to fire up Sound Sense. And we're going to fire up Dwarf Therapist. Oh my god, look at all this. Alright. Hope everyone's ready. A fort has not been loaded. We're going to create a new world. So, play your own music if you like. Uh, we're using the Phobius... Uh, Phobius uh, map doodad. And we're going to go ahead and uh, let that be the tile set. Not map doodad, tile set. I was using the ASCII plus one. Because I, I know what I'm doing, kind of, a little bit. And the last time I played a lot of Door Fortress, I mean a lot, was, um... Oh, easy. Yeah! Oh, I love this song. I think it's Tankard Basher? Yeah. This is all on, um, SoundCloud. Gonna create a new world for us here. Let me go ahead and hide this. Watch as I get like angry comments from like Krug Smash. He's gonna say like, that's my bread and butter you're fucking with. Get out of here, Normie. Sorry, Krug. My people suggested I play it and uh, here we are. Last time I played a lot of Dwarf Fortress was 40D. 40D. And that is a long time ago. That is a long time ago. The Dwarven Fortress of Bertagradala. Damn. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's going to create some worlds. So, I will appreciate any advice you guys have or guides you have. Anything you can link down in the description, I will absolutely be reading. However, keep in mind that I'm going to record a bunch of these. And they're going to air. And I will... It, it's weird, because by the time you've seen them, I probably have recorded two or three additional episodes. And then your comments will not be read and reflected on until some subsequent episode. So, uh, apologies if that makes you mad. <laughs> but that's how I do things, which is not always good for other people playing along. Uh, but this Lazy New Pack is great. This is all free, of course. And I think anyone who's part of my kind of core group, the engaged group uh, on my channel, is certainly knowledgeable of Dwarf Fortress, probably much more than I am. Because the three communities I've found that overlap like crazy is Dwarf Fortress, Space Station 13, and uh, CDDA, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I, th I think those three... Are, have a lot of travel between them. And I, 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 I really think they do. So anyways, here we are. Year 141. 142. I have a fairly decent computer. But I'm recording at the same time. So it's being a little slower. Don't worry about it. We're just going to talk. The Ashen Being. Hmm. 
I mean, I gotta think about what kind of thing I'm... Well, okay, the, the main objective, I'm gonna say for this one, is gonna be to try to survive at all. Um, yeah, that that's pretty much the objective. Whereas Krug Smash can be like, I'm gonna create a fortress full of vampires that also run a computer that, uh, is, is said, uh, has larger gates that are run by zombie elves, and, uh, I'm gonna have bees, uh, be in the, in, in the fortress guard. I, I have all these bees I've trained, and I, like me, I'm gonna be like, look, he moved a rock. <laughs> oh, the fields. All right. Here we go. Age of myth. It is the age of myth. Year 161. There's a lot of dead historical figures. Uh, so, yeah. Mm. Here we are. Another, another day, another fine Let's Play. Sound Sense, why you, why you no play music? Sound Sense, play, play songs. I, I wanna, I wanna hear some musics. What you got, bud? I, I just, I, mm. Play a song? Question mark? It says it's playing something, but it's not, so. Hooray, sound sense. It is up to date before anyone asks. I did that before I started recording. I uh, opened it and made sure everything was updated and ready to go. So here we are. The Dwarven Fortress of Arto Bathel, the Ashen Beak. Beak. The Ashen Beak? Ashy. Need some, uh, need some stuff. All right, let's see. This is an interesting world. I know of a few people who have used Dwarf Fortress to create fantasy settings because it does the geography kind of well. It also creates civilizations and a lot of history that you can just kind of rip right out of the game. I remember the last time I played this, um... I had a few people go above and beyond and really engage, like, hey, Dex, send me the file and I'll do this. And I was, like, blown away. And again, I'm just kind of dipping my feetsies, my feetsies back into all this. So, hmm, yeah, it's uh, it's been a while, but it feels good. And I did say I would I would play some and I'm going to I'm going to try to make this a regular thing. Because I've been playing a bit when I get home from work, and work is stressful, and I find the Dwarf Fortress is less stressful because it's fun with a capital F. And capital F fun is definitely Dwarf Fortress. You know, especially when you, like, dig deep and run into the circus, or you get visited by an enormous monster, or end up with 180 dwarves. And someone punches a baby, and everyone just starts getting a little mad. Yeah, those were the days. Those were the days. World of Dwarf Fortress. Alrighty. Now would be a good time for all of you to, uh, Get a beverage or a snack or, uh, you know, feed the parakeet, whatever you got to do. That's not slang for anything. I'm like, if you have, if you have a bird, you should probably feed it. You, if, if you have some, um, minor chores to do, this is taking a bit because I am uh, recording it and Dwarf Fortress does not like you doing recording, apparently. I am recording. We are Ricordo. We are Ricordo Maximo. My computer has just let me know that I have disk space remaining for 110 hours of recording at current uh, on my audio side. And probably several years on the video side, so good. I'm recording these separate, by the way. There's going to be an audio track and a video track in the future, by the way. Uh, I am thinking of getting a really nice mic upgrade. 
and getting a mixer track and then recording these uh, separate so you can get hand in hand and uh, have it all work out. Should be pretty nice, I think, anyways. So, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to already get some, some comments from people out there. They're going to be like, Tax intro so long. Where are the dwarves at? Where are the dwarves at? Well, I'm sorry. One of the first things I ever read a Let's Play on, back when, you know, Let's Play.org was that thing run by the goons and... Before Rooster Teeth and so on, like, trademarked Let's Play? I, I don't know. They they kind of taken over all that thing. Then again, it started off as, like, Red versus Blue, and now it's this whole huge production company, which is just weird to see happen over the course of the last 15 years. I mean, I, I remember watching Red versus Blue online and being like, this is crazy. But um, back in the day, Let's Plays, boys and girls, were text-based they were forum text-based things, and you'd have people write up stories and post pictures, and I found that to be really cool. So Dwarf Fortress um, was very popular back then for that, and uh, Boat Murdered. If if you ever want to get into Dwarf Fortress, I, I think Boat Murdered is your first primer for how things go. And Boat Murdered is a legendary succession game. As was Head Shoots. Head Shoots was pretty crazy. Head Shoots was really crazy. There, there are a bunch of them um, from back then. And as well, if, if you want to watch somebody who knows what they're doing and has like a good intro to how to play the game, um, I, I, Krug Smash. Krug Smash is definitely the guy to watch. He has his shit together and he actually knows how to cut these down to manageable size, but. If you're here, you're probably watching this because you need some sort of um, angry ASMR experience <laughs> where, you know, there, there's, there's, there's some guy sitting there drinking and uh, talking about how much he hates things and how much the world's disappointed in him or, you know, and I don't think there's, well, no, ASMR is a pretty wide world. I mean, but I, I, I doubt there's an ASMR where, you know, some guy's sitting there working on a 45 and he's like, all right, you know, we're just going to go ahead and admire the uh, the workmanship of John Moses Browning, uh, especially when you get down to uh, the little things. But no, John Moses Browning was fucking crazy. Lots of patents, but when you look at his designs, you go, it seems kind of dumb. Why would you do that? Especially on the lever action 12-gauge shotgun, you're like, uh, the whole action tips out. That's kind of dumb. But I'm not in the cult of John Moses Browning, so I, I own a few Browning firearms, um, and I, I don't think they're the greatest thing ever. I think they're influential and interesting. But back to Dwarf Fortress. Oh, God. Anyone who's listening to this is going to have a hard time explaining it. Why do you watch that text guy? Well, how long you got? Because his videos are very long. Oh, yeah. I don't know, somebody said something, um, it was a post on Reddit that I got linked, where someone was like, if Tex has any good content, it's, it's buried in hours of garbage. I was like, yeah, all right, that's your opinion. You gotta enjoy the, the hate. Someone takes the time to tell you you suck. It's quite nice. Oh, hey, here we are. A world is created. Oh, wait, let's make sure we're actually in the, uh, thing. Offloading the Unix. Dun, 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 dun. Usually this is, like, on my computer, but now that I'm recording, it's gonna be a minute. Note to self, do not build a world and record at the same time. Krug Smash probably covers that in one of his many tutorials. I had a computer some years ago where I wanted the long history, the full, long, lengthy history. And when I was playing 40D, uh, and I would I would hit build world, do the longest history, and then hit build, and then go to bed, and wake up, and it'd be almost done. 
it it was pretty intense. It's always been a dream of mine that if I won the lottery to find the Zack and Tarn Adams who made this and go uh, hire a team of coders, you know, like 50 people and say, look, turn this into a happy UI, maybe 3D isometric, even basic 3D isometric would be fine, like No Moria or Dwarf Corp or um, what, Stonehearth, just in any of those approaches. Shit, I mean, if even if you want to keep it 2D RimWorld style, just keep it simple. But, uh, you know, future-proof it. Pay them all the money they want. Allow them to maintain total creative control. And just give them a huge team. And, of course, uh, allow them to do whatever they want. Because I think they have the right idea. There's a lot of games I compare to Dwarf Fortress. And in usually in, in a way where I go, you know, how hard is it? Dwarf Fortress did it like 10 years ago. All right, start playing. Dwarf Fortress. Here we go. In the month of Granad, in the year 1250, the dwarves were out. They were going to find themselves in a world of ruin and bacon. That's my best dwarf voice. Hmm. This game does not run as well when you record it. Hot damn. Alright, here we are. Here we are. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, I need to find... I know you can do a search, but... Oh, what was that? Clay, deep soil, warm. Hmm. The Torrid... <laughs> wow. Stream. Chunky Reveres. Sounds like a bad soup. All right, let's try that. Tropical Dry. You know what, though? I'm going to move the local area around a little bit. Because I want some of that stream. In case I run out of water. Or drinkables. Which you shouldn't. But I want a little bit of that stream. I, I want a little bit of that stream, I think. Yeah, they got clay, deep soil deep metal. Let's do this. I know some people are going to get really mad, but fuck it. All right. I created my idea for start and it's gonna, it's gonna, oh. Okay. So you have a miner and engraver, a miner and engraver, woodcutter, carpenter, stone crafter, wood crafter, mason building designer, grower, brewer, and grower, brewer. And, oh my god, yeah, I, I think I did this fairly okay-ish. Someone's going to get really mad, and that's fine. Uh, no, 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 I 220 points, oh my god, what did I do? Alright, look, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. I just need more plump helmets. Actually, I need more plump helmets spawn. Let's go ahead and uh, give ourselves some plump helmets for spawn. There we go. I could name the fort, but that's dumb. Let's embark, shall we? Someone's gonna be like, you didn't take eight cats. You didn't take 12 goons. Did you know that nine out of every 10 embarkments end in complete disaster? <laughs> I can't wait to see what awaits us here. <laughs> We've done well. Uh, born lands. Notun Kubuk. Born lands. Fuck it! Alright, first thing you want to do is take a look at this area. It's very marshy. River's shallow and then gets deeper. Oh, I see. I think that's a waterfall there. Alright. It's all kind of on one level with this kind of rocky mass there-ish and... Well, some trees... Such happy music. Alright. I'm gonna dig into that, I think. I know I could just dig down, but... 
Eh. What the fuck is this? It's a downward slope, yeah. River otters? How deep is this river? Hmm. And what are you? Knute suggested this, so blame him if you must. We got hippos! Oh god, we got hippos. Okay. Alright. Let's uh, not regret any of this. Hashtag blame Knut. Um. Happy music. Alright, let's designate and cut some trees down. Because elves are the devil. You know it. I know it. Knife-eared <laughs> bastards. They don't deserve anything. Fucking elves. Anyways. Happy dwarf music. Alright, so we got our digger digging. We got our chopper chopping. The rest of them are just milling around. Uh... I build a bridge while I'm thinking of it. Yeah, let's build a bridge. I don't need to retract. Re <clears throat> God damn. Fucking. Ugh. Summon my throat. Ah, uh, Yeah, don't need a bridge that retracts. I. No. 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 Well, maybe. Fucking. Rambutan! I just want to be able to cross the river and or reclaim the children that inevitably get lost in it. That water's pretty turbulent. Look at that water. <coughs> I, I may go back to my uh, default tile set after this because it's the one above ASCII that still has a lot of ASCII elements in it. Because it reminds me of the olden days. I don't know. The ASCII's fine and all. It's raining on us, boys! Do you hear the rain? Good. Let's uh, dig some stairs, huh? I think we should. Actually, I know where I'm going to put those. Whoa! Fucking otter, look at that thing! Is that an otter, or am I losing my mind? That looks like a fucking lizard. It's supposed to be an ot river otter, but holy shit. He's a quicken, look at that. Look at it. My god. Oh, man. What's crazy is it's raining outside, so at first I was like, Oh, man. This game's got really awesome sound, but it is it is actually raining outside at the same time. First I was like, man, the sound depth is crazy. Well, it is. I mean, the sound sense makes it really good. Otherwise, you'd be hearing the same bit of guitar going on. For a while. Not that the standard soundtrack is bad. I mean, Goat, an accomplished guitarist in the Legion, still has some difficulty in playing it, so. It ain't exactly like perfectly easy. It's it's uh it requires some smarties. Some smarts. Man, those river otters, I don't fucking trust them. Time to play the drums of conflict. Do, 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 do. Those hippos. I'm watching you, you fucks. I'm watching you! When, when, oh. Oh, the logs were falling in the water and it was splashing. I was like, what the fuck? What evil goes on? 
I think I have one miner who does not have a pick. I have fucked up. All right, so I've combined two ideas to make them one very bad one. All right, he's he's digging. Everyone they got a guy digging, got a guy chopping. I should probably set a stockpile or two. Uh, one for refuse. This is where we will put the migrant corpse. I mean the people who don't make it. All right, and then I'll have one to just garbage stone, and then. Uh, you know, I'll put a wood stockpile out here, and I'll build a wall around our fort that's made out of wood, so the elves know what they're getting into. You know, that's that's what you need to do, is you need to let people know what kind of fucking fort you're getting. And I'm going to build a wall and make knife ears pay for it. Ooh, paradise nuts. Sounds expensive. See? Build a nice wall around your encampment. You fill in holes with it and trees and stuff, and then that way if there's a fire for whenever you build yourself a Dwarven Doomsday device. Sea boat murdered. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, tea tree. But those wood, that that those woods would smell pleasant. I like tea tree shampoo. It's good for your scalp, I think. I should say it feels good for your scalp. I don't know if it's good for your scalp. I'm not a scalp doctor. You think I got a PhD in forehead? There's going to be somebody who's like, I'm a dermatologist, Tex, and I find that offensive. Alright, yeah, we're going to build some walls out here. It's a good way to eat up logs you don't like. Also, there's a fire. It's hilarious. Let's use papaya and wood. As soon as we get the stills going, I should put those uh, guys out there to start uh, gathering fruit, because I bet there's going to be some fruit. Yeah, I know there's some gaps in the wall. It'll be fine for now. This is largely just to make me feel better and to let the elves know that they're garbage. Because elves are garbage. You know it, I know it. Let's just get that out of the way, all right? Elves are not good people. They're not even people. See, the music repeated because it believes in me. Elves are not people. Do 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 do. Knife beard bastards. Do 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 do. Don't trust the Fae. In G major. I don't think this is in G major. All right, there we go. Someone's gonna get mad that I'm not using the hotkeys the way they like. But see, this wall also keeps out other things like hippies, sea elves. First time I read the controls to this game, I, I lost my mind. <laughs> We're like, uh, UMKH to resize things is like, what? I know they can still kind of scramble around, depending on the height of this hill and the relatively gentle slope of it, but, uh, I think I'll be alright. What's neat is this thing should offload 
at least from what I've read, uh, should be able to offload into, I think, a Minecraft thing. So you could build a Minecraft thing. No, I can't do it. You will no, do, it. I can't do it. You'll do it. All right, let's go ahead and dig. Wow. See if you're invited to my birthday. All right. I'm gonna do a very simple, um, you know what? No, let's build a farm plot. Some people are already screaming and hitting the no like button. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get through this together. It's kind of like where people start talking about beans and chili. Some people get really mad about that. Talking about what historically people would have eaten out on the plains. Of course. Of course, that authenticity is what you're going for. So you eat it using your hands and dysentery at the same time. Why is he look? Why is he no? You build that fucking bridge. It's in case someone gets swept up, they can run across it or whatever. Don't worry about it. This gives them an opportunity to do things. Where's my? Where is? Oh, the miner is constructing buildings. This is where I now. Get into Dwarf Therapist. Miner. Stand by for modification of abilities. You will do nothing but mine. And back to the game. Well, mine and smooth stone. Sorry, I can't do it, sir. Yeah, you can. See, I love having one guy just mine. Full speed mine. Oh, it's funny. Alright, let's go up a level. It's kind of cool. There's an awful lot of trees. I don't care for that. I mean... What have they canceled? Is it these? Oh, that should be fine. You little bastards complaining about. Oh, well. I need to know what the walls of this are, because I could cancel those farm plots up there. If this down here is good stuff. What is it? Oh, it's loam. Well, it's sandy loam. That's silt loam. Yeah, see, I, I, I told him to knock off building that for the moment. Oh, easy. I almost let some fun in. This should be decent. By that I mean acceptable. By that I mean reckless. Don't worry about it, I got this. Some of you are already shaking your heads. 
I can hear it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry your pretty little heads. I just gotta give my minor shit to do, and then I'm gonna slowly start modifying other people's behavior here. God, I sound like a psychologist. Step one is I remove their ability to complain. Step two is the door things. Alright. This will be some areas. Question mark? I don't know. I'm gonna make the most of... Oh, yeah! See, I like this style of music. One of the best DMs I ever had had a mix of music, and half of it was Lord of the Rings soundtrack, and the other half was shit like this. I don't know where he got it. He had a lot of medieval music and a lot of Renaissance music. It was pretty cool. Older generation Grognard DM, you know? Oh, those are all the suspended ones. Bam 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 Sorry, that's the lyrics. Didn't know if you knew that. Sing along if you want. Bam 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 Oh, look at that. He's zigging, he's zagging. Wow. I actually like that he does that. That way I can kind of see what all sorts of floor I'm dealing with. So I'm thinking all this is going to be a giant set of farms. And I'll have my cookery stuff in here. Um, and then maybe a food stockpile over here. And then I'll have like a shitty dining hall there. Some workshops here and a general storage here. You know, and then uh, up here, I'm going to turn into, uh, you know what, I, I know what I'm going to turn this into. I'm going to turn this into a terrible, terrible, shitty, like, giant dorm. And the dwarves will like it, because unlike RimWorld, these guys don't have some sort of horrible fucking disorder where they need to be constantly ecstatically happy. Like RimWorld ate without table and then like guys like drinking shin out of a flask. Hmm, <sighs> I gotta be careful. Cause those are ways in. Someone could fall down and land in my fortress. I don't care for it. But look, everyone's building stuff. It's giving them something to do while I'm thinking. I've got some wood stuff. Where's my miner? Everybody's hauling stuff and moving stuff. The miner should be mining. Yep, he had to go get a drink. He had to go out to that fucking wagon remains and just suck down a gallon of bourbon. He's like, all right, time to work. It 
You know, I remember there was a game store um, when I was young, and they really, they really enjoyed, uh, you know, being fantasy aligned sort of game store, not Warhammer 40k, but Warhammer Fantasy, which is rare. Most of them are just straight 40k. Um, these were the pre Matt War days, the days of yore, and uh, the lady that co-owned the store got a liquor license so she can sell liquor which was awesome because all the grognards would go there to drink sociably and play games but she was also a really good chef so she would bring in snacks and some at the register and uh, she would she would like make shit inspired by Lord of the Rings so she'd have like Limbus bread or dwarven oat bread and everything tasted suitable I remember the dwarven oat bread it was like thick and heavy it was like oatmeal I mean, it was like you took oatmeal and muesli and dried fruits and stuff and just used a hydraulic press and pressed it together. It was, it was hard as a brick. It was really tasty, though. It had cardamom in it and stuff. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Then again, I like bread in general. I think most people do. I think the fattest I ever was was when I had a bread maker, you know, because you'd be like, what am I going to eat for dinner? And you just put that bitch in there and you're like, make me bread. And you go to work and come home fresh bread. And of course you're going to eat it all. Wow. Look at him. Look at how fast he's fucking mining. Now, admittedly, that's soft shit, but look at him go. He's like, Bye, Armok! Ah! I mean, Jesus. I think that's the area under those ponds. Huh. Well, whatever. So we get our walls, for the most part, and the rest is filled in by tree, and then when they knock those trees out, we'll have to do something about it. Damp stone located. Well, don't dig into it, dingpan. Oh, it's right under, I see. I have to keep moving it back over. He's digging around the bottom of that lake. Or pond, but still. It's nice to have all those ponds, because we can actually go fishing. So when those useless fishing migrants show up, we'll have something for them to do. Oh, he's like, ah, it's so thirsty. So thirsty I could kiss an elf. And everyone, like, starts, like, really getting upset at him for saying that. He's, like, branded as a radical. All right. Let's make the farmer's farm. Let's go to Dwarf Therapist. I have to turn him uh, away from doing all of these stupid things so he'll actually do his job. Stand by. Committed. They should be down here shortly to start doing their job. As the digger gets all crazy. Bow, bow, bow. 
What, what, what are all these over here fighting? Oh no, no, it's offloading units. Oh, it's saving. I was like, what have, what have I done? Summer has arrived. Shit. Kind of in a warm area, so it doesn't matter, but... Peacocks, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Plump helmets, year round. He's flipping out and digging in a damp stone. That's fine. I know where it is now. Stop it! Stop it. Yeah, this guy's on SoundCloud. If you look at SoundSense, it attributes everything, but... His shit's on SoundCloud, and he's goddamn brilliant. Like, his shit is... wonderful. Digging like crazy. So we're gonna start. Stuff's getting built. Not really, but okay. It's it's been a while, like I said. I played a few starter forts and most of them collapsed. The one that didn't got up to 180 dwarves and then starved to death. Okay, that's a collapse, but it was so successful it failed. Yeah, see, it's all about how you look at things. It was a catastrophic success. Actually, wait. I'm gonna put a gap between these so I can easily find them. Yeah, oh man, I'm gonna grow so much stuff. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I know this one. This one's good. Same guy. Nice. If this is this track I'm thinking of, I think it's called The King is Dead. In fact, I'm gonna open up Sound Sense and see. No, that's not it. is currently playing everything. It's not gonna let me know. But yeah, this guy's shit is awesome. If you're curious, go look at just Sound Sense, and there's there's one guy who wrote a shitload of that music. In fact, I, I will open this. Oh, there's the Black Pants Legion election thing. That's... No! No! Yeah, um, by the way, 355 votes in the Black Pants Legion. There's only 160 of us, I think, in the Discord. So, needless to say, the uh, voter fraud has gotten pretty exceptional. It's kind of what I was looking forward to. Uh, let's go ahead and look at who is this guy. Simon Swerver. 
That's who he is on SoundCloud. Yeah, his, his shit is amazing. You guys should absolutely look into him. You, you should. Okay, migrants. Fuck! Alright. Why would they even seek us out? A milker? Oh, god damn it. Alright, 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 alright. All right. Everybody, what if we just pretend like we're closed? It also makes you wonder how bad things are in, in, in the home areas when when they they have to come here you know what I mean because they should have heard stories about my fucking fortress and been like oh that guy and then not built one right that reminds me There. Too close to the edge. Don't cut yourself on that edge. I called someone an edge lord once. It, 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 this was in college. Well, no, it was in grad school. So, more recent than college. A suturer? Do we have a fucking doctor? I called him an edgelord in grad school. That's fucking hipster. Man, he exploded. He let me know that that was oppressive language. He's a suturer, which means he's now all the medical stuff. And we need a doctor area. A doctorarium. Doctor terrarium? Oh my god. See? I'm inventing things. A child. Goddamn nobles. Alright, looks like I got a decent start though. Except those walls are not very useful because as you can see the, the dwarves just walk around them. Um which is kind of funny. These walls will protect us. What if they go around them? Kill that man! <laughs> I'm going to try to build more comprehensive fortifications here. That doesn't mean I've accepted that I've made errors, okay? There's, there's the one little hole in the wall, other than the giant hole down there. Oh, and that one. And the other, other than the holes in the wall, the, um, shut up. How's that, huh? We're working on it. Is there any others? No, just, okay, not that many migrants. These are lost people, these are not migrants. Alright, so we're gonna build a wall that kind of goes around the wall of the fort wall. We're smart. Alright, let's build some kitchens and some breweries. Yeah. Alright, good, 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 good. 
Not jeweler. Uh, there we are. Wait, ah, I hit the same button twice. Wrong. Wrong! Alright, butcher, tanner. Alright. There's, this is the murder room. This is where all the, all the people go to watch, like, their childhood die. Oh, and meat get cooked. Be like, is that a kitten dead food? Mm-hmm. Alright, let's build some downstairs. Do do do. All right, carpenter's shop. Mason's shop. All right. Uh, jeweler's shop? Why do I build two of these things? Someone will ask, I'm sure. Uh, because inevitably, one of those little fuckers is going to get an idea in his head. And when he does, he's gonna claim one of these and say he needs it. And he's gonna say, I need the anuses of 400 beetles. And I won't have them. And when that happens that I don't grant him his ridiculous request, he is going to lose his fucking mind. And, um... He'll probably punch some babies, and we'll lose this whole thing. But if I give him two... Two stores, I can still get things done... with the other store, while he's busy, you know, like... plotting to kill us all. So, yeah. Those dwarves are running around outside doing nothing. Playing make-believe! Oh my god, you motherfucker. Alright, so... We're... We're working well with our children and everything else. And this is... Not terrible yet. Uh, I think we're doing alright. We're doing okay. Farmers are growing stuff. Building buildings! Nice. Alright, we're already three layers. Sea levels, also known as things that RimWorld doesn't need, but does need. Alright, let's do trade depot. Did he ever build that? Yes, he did. Nice. Generic fantasy soundtrack number eight, please. That's for food. Now start putting food in the food stockpile. Yes! Science! Oh, is it, is it gonna play this fucking flute? Because I'm tired of it. Oh, 
Ah, oh, stop it. There. Now, as to stop. Yes, we don't have enough plump helmet spawns. Don't worry about it. We're getting there. Rock and stone. What the fuck is that? Oh, pond turtle. Nice. Just imagine a dwarf just puts it in his mouth and just starts crunching. Hey, I got my lunch tortoise. And just crunch, crunch, crunch. You know he does. Let's check on our architect. What are you doing other than masonry architecture? And commit. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do like 10,000 useless things. Go. That ought to modify his behavior a little. Look, a dwarven child. He is playing make believe with his friends. He has none. What? What is this horrible thing? What? What is this? What? What is it? Fucking huh? Small forest bird. It's chasing the child. It's tormenting him. It's one of them Knutskazak birds. You have nothing to fear from black holes, thanks to this little bird. But what if I'm afraid of black holes? Don't worry. Th that's pretty much the only channel that I can watch that uses, like, little cartoon puppets to explain stuff. Because a lot of those are really, really bad. Like, they, they look like South Park from the 90s like it's 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 really shittily done all right trade depot is done nice and they're always like trying to explain shit that's really sophisticated going like here's what happened at chernobyl and then you have like little puppets showing <laughs> showing the horrible horrible cost of the cleanup effort in human lives like popsicle stick puppets isn't it funny no We've learned nothing other than Stalker is a pretty good setting for most things. All right, let's uh, brew drink from plants all day, baby. There we go. Man, I need a song that's like fucking snare drum and a fucking kettlebell. Yeah. No, it, it's one of those little blocks, isn't it? What's that? It's just the single, like wood block that you strike do 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 butcher a dead animal all right good we're gonna make a lot of liquor. All right, so we have a food. Whoa, 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 whoa! Was that vermin? Is that vermin? It's a rat. It's a rat. God damn it! I now need cats to kill the rats, and then I will have a cat problem. Well, okay, cats aren't as bad as they used to be. I, I remember when carp was a serious concern. You know, where you're like, hey, watch out for carp. I remember people would be playing Dwarf Fortress and you'd get like... 
carp and it, you'd have a carp spiral and you just quit because there's no point in continuing anymore. All your dwarves are going to die to this carp tantrum. Oh, those were dark days. Uh, yeah, we need to create some bands. And I need to create a door. I need to create a rock door. Or doors. We don't have any rocks, per se, yet. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Alright. Because we're going to just keep going down until we start hitting rocks. Then it's on. So right now it's just kind of this mushy, silty, loam fort of just gross. It's just kind of what we got going on. A honey badger has stolen plump helmets. That's because they're still outside. God damn it. I ain't gonna fuck with a honey badger because he don't give a fuck. And they're dangerous. And they just sleep shit off. Like poison. Look at this. We're doing all right. Goddamn child. Why can't he labor? It'd be funny if the child just followed a dwarf and learned to trade like an apprenticeship. Okay. Bow, bad in the down. Bust out the plump helmets, boys. Dwarf Fortress is cool if you like things that are made of dwarves. Yep, they're dragging stuff indoors now. I remember it was in 40D, I had a monkey steal an anvil. I'm not sure if it was a glitch or what, but it I, I did not want to go get it, but I needed it badly. So my dwarves were chasing this monkey that could run with an anvil, and it ran around the map for like an hour and the dwarves would chase it, and it would, like, scare them away. I had no idea how this ape was doing it, but I realized it must have been King Kong, because in the end, it would cripple one of the dwarves. Like, it would break its legs, and then run off with the anvil. And it would break its legs, and then run off with the anvil. And then break its legs, and run off with the anvil. I'm not sure if it was fighting with the anvil. It's been some time. I, it, But it just ran off with the anvil. And it crippled like 20 dwarves, and it ended up getting a name. Like, it, it, it had a name. It was just this horrible, horrible ape warrior of doom. Doom ape. The ape of doom. And it was it was horrific. Just imagine this. Like it, My dwarves were indoors, like, painting pictures of this, this, this ape that destroyed their military. You know? Like it was, it was like, beware, beware the apes of midnight. I was like, shit. All right, so we're going to create all sorts of things. Um, we're going to create some, some wood artifacts because fuck dwarves, fuck elves. I almost said fuck dwarves, but uh, I'm not that tired. I was uh, listening to someone tell a story on a podcast, and they're telling a D&D &D story. And this story was kind of weird, because it's with D&D &D going mainstream, or at least with the illusion of it going mainstream. Because who knows what mainstream is from one moment to the next. But there's a lot of people who are creating content around D&D &D and dork stuff, but I doubt they're their sincerity. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm just, I'm just grouchy, right? But anyways, uh, they, they, they were telling the story about 
D and D, and they were talking about how hardcore this guy's DM was, and he was telling all these stories that just didn't sound quite right. He was trying to explain to his listeners. He uh, so you have to understand, this is back in old editions of D and D, and I said, oh well, that makes sense. Back in the old days, you had to wing a lot of shit because Gygaxian grognards, the the neckbeard of neckbeards, the genesis of the dork, and. He, he said, way back in 4th edition, and I my jaw opened, and it hit the floor, and went right through it. When someone calls themselves a veteran of tabletop from 4th edition, I don't know what to say, other than, I'm disappointed. Yeah, we don't have any rocks. What kind of fortress is this? It's just a giant flan. Flan? Flan. Flim flam. Flim Flammery. It is it is literally just a big soggy mountain. I need to make sure that's checked and that is checked. And that is checked. And I hit beep. There we go. Okay, look the dwarves the dwarves have some food. They have some booze. Um we're starting to do some basic crafting here. We got beds. Now, if this was uh, RimWorld, they would have all lost their mind already because somebody didn't have a a exquisite like golden taco chalice or something. They they would have completely become crippled creatures. I love this. This is a great soundtrack. Not many games will let you mod your own soundtrack in, but more games should. It was something I was delightfully surprised in with a uh, MGS5. Just how the soundtrack was beautifully put in that you could fuck with. So that's how you end up with, like, cat banana and everything else that I put in mine. I'm going to have a Dwarven Atom Smasher in this area. You know it. I know it. There's the wood stockpile. Hmm. We're slowly moving things indoors. Slowly. Also slowly working on beds. What technology have you unlocked? Bed. ABR! There. So you're remembering, remembering all those uh, shortcuts. It becomes second nature. It really does. There, there used to be a very popular meme amongst uh, dwarf fortress people. Where you would have uh, that little clip from the Matrix where it would say, uh, before long you don't see the code anymore, you see blonde, brunette, whatever. Cypher's little speech. Um, and what was hilarious is it was like, before long you don't see ASCII anymore, you see dwarf, plump helmet, so on. Which is true. I mean, I used to play the ASCII one, but nowadays it makes my eyes hurt. Maybe I'm getting older. Maybe all those years of playing games in the dark have not done me much good. Too close to the edge. big food stockpile we got plenty of turtles um, in case you wanted to eat some turtles you know you just whatever just in case you wanted some turtles okay this looks like a rock layer on each level I'm gonna dig out 
one area here. And I'm going to see what I'm presented with. I can remember some of my best forts over the years. Uh, one of them had about 130 dwarves. It ran pretty good. And the first 10 layers were like sand. Which was kind of shitty. But we kept finding gold when we dug deeper. Because my guys were digging spider tunnels and then just widening everything out. And as we dug deeper and wider, uh, we ended up with, I mean, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of gold. And so I had a mint and I was making gold and using that to buy shit. And it was fucking fantastic. I have not been overburdened with migrants. I'm quite happy now. And we don't have anything we can build other than the basics out of wood. Dormitory, yes. Back to Back to the good guy. Da -da 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 -da. You ready? Because I'm fucking ready. It is time to smash things, smash it with a hammer. Do 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 boom 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 We got to start making some proper amounts of food. We need to get a lot of shit done. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. Some some people are going to start losing their shit, but... Oh, oh, it's saving. Thank God. Thought we were going to have a crash, because I was like, no. Do not want. Cannot have. We need to designate some more stockpiles. Um, this over here is going to be like a dining hall, I think. I'm going to make that into kind of a shitty dining hall, but dining hall nonetheless. This is going to be stockpile areas and building areas just for whatever. And then I can tunnel shit out and make shitty offices um, if need be. Let's see, change settings. Uh, no. Yes. No. No. Well. Yeah, alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no. Yes, yes, yes. That's one thing I'll say that RimWorld did really fucking well was the uh, stockpiles that you could copy the settings. That was brilliant. I, I thought that was really well done. Idler. Looks like that's just more loamy shit, and this is starting to get into actual... That's clay. Dolomite! We have dolomite, and we have some rocks. Alright, this is an area that I now need to mine out. Yeah. go. 
All right, let's see what this gets into. Because I bet that could turn into some useful stones, for one. But it could also turn into all sorts of useful crafts in general. And I can also build doors now, which is amazing. And not only doors, but uh, chairs. Ah. Dude, I'm getting there. With minimal population and no death so far... Let's give a thumbs up to Mr. Tex. Only a vote if you really feel like it needs it. Don't don't worry about me. I'll be all right. All right. Looks like yeah. So this miner is gonna turn into just ridiculous legendary miner. Yeah. Fucking bird. Knut's gesagt bird. Wunderbar, I am a German bird. Let me talk to you about social problems in the developing Western world. Let me talk to you about the deaths of by UFO lasers. What? Give the Patreon monies to Little Bird. Oh, okay. You heard it, boys. I'm not sure if this is wide enough for the caravan to get through, but if it isn't, I'll knock a hole in the wall. Also, a caravan has to want to go here, which is an issue. Because right now, we are the Kansas of the Dwarven world. A place to be passed by and forgotten. A place of forgotten everything. Yeah, there's our, this is our dormitory. And at a certain point, we're gonna smooth smooth out the clay, I guess. It just shows up with like a trowel. I, I don't know, this is gonna, yeah. This is really sad. I'm gonna turn that into a stockpile eventually and build nice rooms down in the rock level. So everything will get smoothed out. Yeah, I'm I'm going to I'm going to turn this all into stockpiles. Well, this could be another area of workshops. I mean, I've got stockpiles for a lot of stuff here. I just need the dwarves to drive the industry. Cuz this is all being mined out by a guy. It's like there's a guy here and his name's like Frank. Suspended the fucking wall, really? What, which one? Don't. Oh my god, don't. I know there's a log there. It's a wooden wall. Just use the log and turn it into wall. I've seen it happen. My dwarves are so shit, they probably made that door out of clay. So. What, what is going on? Is it playing two songs at once? Oh no! The caravan's here. We gotta convince him we're not been fucking off. Ah. Uh. All right, uh, we don't have a broker yet. Well, we, we, we well, hold on, we got a noble, we got a noble. Uh, that one, that one, that one. All right, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. I know how to do this. Uh, um, um, broker, All right, the noble, the noble. What's his name? Right, uh, hold on, I gotta check this. Eurist uh, Colam. Mr. Colam, or I could have just read this screen. There you go, bud. Um, yeah, they, they're gonna need an office. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Eurus is also the chief medical dwarf. He's gonna have a lot of jobs. Um, all right. So we're gonna need a uh, trader requested. And I haven't done this in a while. 
Usually they don't show up because the fortress is on fire. Did I mention I'm not great at this? Look. All right. Let's just sell some garbage and buy some other garbage. I need to convince people that we make the finest anti-elven artifacts in the realm, and when we sell it like that, when we say that these guys are experts at destroying trees, we're going to be known far and wide as being above-average dwarves, okay? What, what do we want? Uh, right now, I need cheeses. Far and wide, the finest cheeses that money can buy. And I want plump helmets. And, uh... Pretty much just... Plump, plump helmets and... and Watermelons and passion fruits and strawberries. Shit I can make alcohol out of. Uh, I'll, I'll take, um... Sand? Uh, mm, mm. Yeah, this will do for now. Look, we're a shitty fort. Let's just agree that... What does he want? Leather? Cloth? Metal bars? Wood? Oh, he does want wood. Wow. Alright. Uh, yeah, alright. Oh, goblets, eh? Well, this just so happens... We're the, uh, premier, uh, uh, maker of goblets, as, as you know, in these parts. Uh, we only make the finest goblets. Oh. There. We make the finest goblets. Everything is the finest. Only the finest. Right? Everybody needs to... We need to sell our goblets here. Guys. Everything's fine. Never mind that we're barely subsisting in this terrible fortress. Oh, he's brought his donkey. Oh my god, they actually brought... Oh, uh, we... Sp oh, we struck stuff. Migrants! Shit! Alright. Uh, oh, boy. And the wall has holes in it. Fuck. Alright, new arrival. What What are you? You dib abba dib Alright, well, you dib abba dib Uh, you dib, you dib, you dib abba dib You are a fishery worker. Alright, fine. Fine. Need to change some of your things there. Just a few things. Just a few, all right. And then I commit that. All right, welcome to hell, kid. Uh, we're just gonna. Okay, we're gonna need to fix that wall a bit, shore it up, actually complete it. Yes, maybe. Look at all these things we've got. Please give us more stuff to plan, please. What all begins with the screw, eh? Well, I mean, that's how life begins. Oh. Oh. Alright, yeah, trade. Yeah. Well, trade at a loss. We're, we're worth less than mushrooms, boys. We're worth less than mushrooms. I guess we gotta wait till we get more. Or better. We're like a festering hole in the earth. Filled with bad ideas and terrible people and sufferance. And 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 for this we wish but a taste of the high life. Not the high life itself, but a taste of it. But a taste. 
and we are we are cast down for believing in ourselves you bastards I just want some plump helmets ah oh, thank god see we'll be known as the guys who make the goblets the good ones out of wood that the elves hate right right all right, ooh, furnace operators, that I can put to use. And we have another farmer named Ilral. So, it's actually great. Because I want more farmers. Now, these guys who are doing furnace operators, one is a rank 11 furnace operator, which is fucking awesome. And another one is a rank 2. But I'm going to start making them into metalsmiths as well. And we're gonna we're gonna start as soon as we get some rocks, uh, so we can actually have a forge that doesn't combust. Amazing technology, our fortress. Um, we're we're gonna do our best to um, start making stuff that's not garbage. All right, there we go. Just gonna keep trading for plump helmets, cause. If I trade for plump helmets all day, every day, all day, every day, uh, yeah, yeah, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm in the swing of things, boys. You should have seen me when I restarted. I had to have, like, three windows open on how to do this. I was watching videos on it. Thank you, Crook Smash. And I, I was, oh my god, was I fucking up. I was fucking up so much. Yeah, this is another layer I can smash into. Cool things to say in Dwarf Fortress, not cool things to say to the girlfriend. What am I saying? I haven't had a girlfriend in forever. Mainly because I hate dealing with people's shit. Also, I can't handle my own. That's how you know you shouldn't bring it on other people. That's just rude. Also, I don't like people, like, second-guessing me. I don't know why. I had a low self-esteem thing. Let's get some Dwarf Fortress shit. Let's have some strawberries, man. Ten whole strawberries. He's like, fuck you. And I'm like, fuck you. Guess plump helmets ain't worth shit. And I ain't worth plump helmets. But yeah, now I do a lot of the shortcuts just by memory. Which makes me feel like a fucking superhero. some Elon Musk melons. There. I'm turn that into booze. A musk melon, just like a gram I used to make. Uh... This grandma liked to get tore the fuck up. Getting there. Look at this guy. Bam, 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 bam. Fuck yeah. He is a level 20 miner. Fuck yeah. He's also got uh, five skills in stone detailing, so I'm gonna have a mine stuff out and then engrave it at the speed of light, so it's just gonna be like as it goes along. It's gonna be so good. See, we're starting to get into rock layers. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, starting to get into rock layers, boys and girls. Rock good. I'm very excited. Starting to make big old barrels of liquor and shit. No trader required a depot. Got dwarves over there fishing. Which is nice. They used to fall in and then wrestle carp that would kill them. So I remember for a while in Dwarf Fortress it was quite normal to have uh, one dwarf that had like 10 in swim. And like he was a wrestler and you'd have to send him in to wrestle the shit out of the carp and beat them to death. Pretty amazing stuff. See, now we're getting the stones. The stones of the deep. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to save this one. I'm going to save our fortress. Because I have other things i got to do. And uh, I will bid you guys a good evening, a good day, a good night. I want you guys to have a good one and tune in next time. Or maybe, maybe we might accomplish something before we all die. But I fucking doubt it. We'll see, won't we? Ta-ta for now. <laughs>